The right to education is not being implemented here. Although we have a lot of the government's programs, like Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan, we have ICDS, which stands for Integrated Child Development Scheme. We have the National Rural Health Mission. But none of these programs are actually including children with disability. Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan agrees that it's their responsibility, but they don't have actually the mechanism. So it really is on paper and it's on rhetoric that we find that they will take children with disability. If the government is really intent on making right to education a reality, it is absolutely vital to know where the children are, what are their needs, and then we can do proper gap provisioning and proper budgetary allocation. And we need a commitment. We need to put rhetoric into reality. We need a sankal. Shiksha Sankal or Commitment to Education is an initiative to ensure children who are out of school and also children with disability have access to mainstream educational institutions. Shiksha Sankalp is being rolled out in Pelhar, a cluster of 22 villages in Thane district and in the municipal A ward of Mumbai city. The main components of Shiksha Sankalp are mapping, screening, intervention, formation of disabled people's organization. In the Shiksha Sankal project, we try to look at the children with disabilities, how many are there and what are their needs. This was done through a census activity which was a door-to-door -door coverage of each and every household in the jurisdictions. Based on the findings of the mapping exercise, we launched on the screening activity. It is important to assess or screen them for their individual needs. Secondary screening must involve professionals across disability. It is essential to have the secondary screening in the vicinity of the disabled rather than expecting them to go to the higher centres as this leads to their dropping out or not availing of services. It is time for us to now plan an intervention or the resource support that each of these individuals need in order that they can be included into mainstream schools or employment and definitely into mainstream society. For example, if there is a child who needs to be included in school but has never gone to school, we would bring the child here and have an educational program. If it is a therapy issue, the child does not speak or cannot walk, therapeutic intervention will be given at these hubs to enable him to access his right to education. With adults, we have found that it is more issues of employment. So we are linking up with other schemes and corporate houses so that they can also be in mainstream employment. In fact, we have employed one girl with a physical disability ourselves and she is our data entry operator right now. Govind Karvande shoulders more than family responsibility. He needs to carry Rohit as the lane he lives in is so narrow he can't open the wheelchair. Urchita Zabar is 12 years old and has cerebral palsy. She is shy, withdrawn and has few friends because of which her socialization skills are not what they should be. Maruti Suryavanshi is 12 years old. He attends school on and off. In the rainy season, the access road from his house to school is waterlogged. Maruti's father is unemployed. 
but is willing to undergo training to handle children with disability and support Shiksha Sankal. Maruti chi shikne chi cha hai parantu nene ane chi soi nahi. जर आपण त्याला एखाद्या वाहनाची जर सोय करून दिली तर तो शिकू शकेल आणि स्वतःच्या पायावरती उभं राहू शकेल मंगला रफी खान इज अ सिंगल पेरंट विथ टू चिल्ड्रन वन ऑफ होम इज अमन अ सेव्हन इयर ओल्ड विथ सिव्हिअर ऑटिझम मेरको दो घर का काम करले जाने पडता है तो अमन को मी घर मे रख के जाते घर मे हो सब इधर का उधर कर देता है स्कूल मे तर भेटता ही नाही आहे अमन को स्कूल जाने के लिए एक मदतनीस की जरूरत पड़ेगी जो उसे स्कूल ले जाएगी स्कूल में उसके साथ रहेगी और फिर वापस घर छोड़ेगी जैसे जैसे अमन स्कूल का आदि होता जाएगा मदतनीस की जरूरत भी कम कम होती जाएगी जिस वैन में मैं बैठी हूँ ये वैन विकलांग बच्चों की सभी जरूरतें पूरी करने के लिए उनको थेरेपी देने के लिए हम हर पाड़ा ऐसी पाड़ा ले जाते हैं और उनकी जरूरतें इस वैन के जरिए पूरी करते हैं Vinayak Thakare's story is an eye opener on how the Right to Education Act can be implemented. His love for education is matched by his intellect. Jeva apan kai tela shikavto ti tela purna lakshyamade rahte itar mulampeksha to chatkan uttar deto. Shiksha sankalp tarfe amala training dila ani apan tena kasha prakare handle karu ya vishay amala changli mahiti dili ani asha prakarche jar apanga mula amche shayat ale tar ami tela handle karu shakto. In one of the rare cases, Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan not only provides him monetary help, but also braille typewriter, pad, and a resource teacher to help him realize his dream. Mala motta thale aur kai thari banai chahi nakki. Now imagine if Vinayak's story is replicated, scaled up, and sustained. If not for anything, it could be a reason to sing and dance. Hold on.